Oh, this is Mr. Hornby 83 with my Mr. Hornby 83 topic, and as I just said on my previous video, um, I'm going to be talking about Dragon Ball Z Kai, Dragon Ball Z Super, and what would have happened if Toriyama pulled the trigger on making Gohan the main character of the original Dragon Ball Z series. Now, I'm going to start with Kai now. All the news that broke about, you know, Japan doing the Boo arc, and a lot of people over here in America is now saying, well, we, we're going to get it over here. We're going to get it over here. And I'm pretty sure we will get the Boo Saga over here for Kai because it would make sense, especially if they're bringing Super over here. you got to have, you got to let people know why Majin Boo is in Dragon Ball Super. And, um, so here's what I think is going to happen. What's going to happen is probably Japan... I believe last I heard they were like toward the end of the Boo Saga over there. So what's going to happen once Japan probably finishes with the Boo Saga, then they will bring it over here to America, which we will watch the whole saga. Then after the Boo Saga on Kai is done, then we will get Dragon Ball Z Super. Or not Dragon Ball Z Super, Dragon Ball Super. Now, there's a possibility we could get both of them at the same time. I know that Funimation's going to be at the New York Comic Con toward the end of this month, so maybe they announce Dragon Ball Z Kai, the Boo Saga, and then they announce Dragon Ball Z Super. I mean, they could do that. They did that with Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. I mean, Dragon Ball Z was there on Tsunami first, and then, like, I think right around it was... Right around when we were getting close to getting the Boo Saga in America for the original series, Dragon Ball came over, which showed all the way up to the final arc, which was the Piccolo arc, which led to first it was King Piccolo, and then it led to Piccolo and Goku fighting the tournament. Um, and the reason why I think they might hold off on Super until after Kai's Boo Saga is because they gotta have time to freaking get the voice acting ready for that one, do some voices for that one, and then do the freaking, then do the super, so that everybody's up to caught up, and they know who Boo is, and why Boo's in there, and why he's on Earth, and why nobody's scared of him anymore, so I think that's what they're gonna do, because pretty much, you know, when anime, when I read it on Anime Network, they really didn't mention Kai, but they did mention, oh, uh, you know, fun amazing they're going to be talking about when we might be getting Dragon Ball Super in America. But, I think, and you know, Dragon Ball Z Kai, you know, I know a lot of big time fans do not like it. I, I think it's okay. I like the uncut versions that they're showing on Toonami, but also you got to think about it. They didn't put Kai on Toonami for no reason, because originally, Kai came on Nicktoons, then was put over to CW, which then was transformed into Vortex, and then was transformed into... I'm trying to think of what else it was called. But, um... But, yeah, um... So, you know, they put it on Toonami for a reason, right after Bleach ended. So, you know, if she wasn't going to do nothing about the Kai, if she wasn't going to do the Boo Saga for Kai, then why, because, you know, if you think about it, Kai in Japan started the Boo Saga in February or April of last year. And November, I believe it was November, maybe in October, in October or November of last year, we get Kai on Tsunami. And they're like, well, it's like we're long, so, you know, yeah. So, I think that's the deal. I think what we're going to do, we're going to get the Boo Saga from Kai, then we get Super, or they show the Kai, and then Super back-to-back. -back. I mean, they did it with Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. They may do it with Kai and uh, Super. So, we'll just have to wait and find out. Um, now that i gotten all that out of the way, I want to talk about what would have happened and what might have been different had Toriyama went and went ahead and pulled the trigger on making Gohan a main character in the manga and on the show after the Cell Saga. I think 
it would have happened, they probably would have had Gohan be training hard and preparing for another fight. So listening to Chi Chi about studying book work and all that. Or the world could have been destroyed because if you think about it, Gohan, you know, always you know, Chi Chi always wanted Gohan to read and study and become really smart and all that. Goku wanted Gohan to fight a lot, but you know or you know what else could have happened? Gohan running around with the stupid Saiyan man, which oh. I wish they would just eliminate that period. If, if Kai goes to Blue Saga, eliminate the Saiyan Man. <laughs> okay. I mean, they basically did that with the Garlic Jr. Saga with uh, Kai. They got rid of that. And I know it was a filler and this and that. But if you think about it, Gohan's ascent, ascension to the top. And really, my thing with the show is, I don't know, because making Gohan the main character, I don't think would have worked. One, because... Most of the fights he was in, his hand were held. His hand was held throughout the fight. I mean, when they fought um, Vegeta and Nappa, Gohan's hand was being held by Piccolo and Krill, and until Goku showed up, and then Goku held Gohan's hand through the freaking final fight with Vegeta. Then you go to Namek. Vegeta held freaking Krill and Ant held Gohan's hand, he went inattentionally, but he held Gohan's hand throughout that fight, too. Um, and then, you know, then against Frieza, had Piccolo not shown up, and had Vegeta not been there, Gohan probably would have been dead. I mean, because his hand, he, he got so used to having his hand held through every fight, you know, and potentially by Vegeta, potentially by Piccolo, because of Piccolo caring about Gohan a lot. Um, and then you go to the Cell Saga, even in, I mean, yeah, he was stronger than everyone else. But, he got too cocky, and didn't kill Cell when he should have, and, well, wait, well, before I get to the Cell Saga, let me go back to the Cell Saga, I'll talk more about Cell Saga. And then the Garlic Jr. Saga, even in that, Gohan did not stand a chance until he found out that Piccolo was acting like he was possessed by Garlic Jr. and that. Then, that's when he stood a chance. Because he had his hand held again by Piccolo and Curly. But, um, then, now let's talk about the Cell Saga. He was stronger than Goku, Trunks, and Vegeta, but he got too cocky with the new power, didn't kill Cell like he should have when Goku told him to. Then, after that, Goku sacrifices himself to kill Cell, and guess what? Cell comes back perfectly healed, more powerful, and Gohan nearly losing, but if you think about the end of the Soul Saga, I don't know Goku hold his hand, Vegeta held his hand again, Piccolo, Yamcha, Tien, and Krillin all held Gohan's hand through that freaking fight. They all were freaking sitting there, you know, they, they're the one, you know, and it was Vegeta's final blast that freaking caused Cell to get too distracted to where Gohan could just take over completely and overpower Cell. And... I think that was like, so, you know, and then you get to the freaking stuff, you can go to the stuff about the movies too, but the movies aren't canon to the show, so I'm just going to stick to the stuff that was canon to the show. Then you go to, after Cell's been beaten, seven years of peace, Gohan wasn't training that hard, the only one that was really training was Vegeta and Piccolo. I think maybe Krillin was training too, I don't know, because, you know, those were the ones that always trained. And I'm not for sure because Gohan, I mean, Krillin had settled down and had a family. And I, the only really training Gohan got was against weak humans as Saiyan Man. Not. But, um, yeah, I think, you know, I don't think it would have been as interesting as Goku. I know a lot of people are big fans of Gohan. My cousin Brian and I believe he was a fan of Gohan. But, you know, Goku, though, eventually got to the point where he said it was necessary to wipe out some of these guys. 
you know, I mean, at first, you know, he wouldn't kill his enemies, he let Vegeta leave, he wasn't going to kill Frieza, and, you know, Frieza tried to cowardly blast him when he was flying off, but he blasted that big blast, but I guess he thought he killed him, and he sacrificed himself to get Cell, so that Cell would be done, and that didn't work out, and, you know, and Goku really should have wiped out Boo himself, because... Had you wiped out Boo when you went to the same Priest, you could have pretty much, you could have pretty much had no Super Boo, no Kid Boo, no, you know, Go Tink, Go Tink Boo, no Gohan Boo. You would have had just the freaking Fat Boo, which that was like, uh, I liked the saga and all, but I didn't like how Boo started out. Um, yeah, you know, I really believe my cousin Brandon or, you know, Kyle was going to do the sale with me, but because of time and all that, cutting, maybe after the New York Comic Con thing, I'll bring them in on the video and get the reaction to the news, which I will be looking at and when that happens. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much for this topic, so um, please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe. Um, check out my Facebook fan page, Mr. Hornsby 83 Topics. I try to post there regularly. Sometimes I don't. Um, check out my Twitter page, at Mr. Hornsby 23, or 83. Uh, but that'll do it. Peace out.